Good morning from beautiful American Basin. Today, I'm gonna to be hiking Jones Mountain for a full trail guide of Jones Mountain. You can check the link in the description below. The road up here to the American Basin has gotten pretty rough over the years, like many of the ones that are being used more and more and maintained at the same amount. If you do wanna get up here, I'd recommend at least a higher clearance all-wheel drive car. What I'm walking along now is the upper trailhead road. Jackie just dropped me off at the bottom here, but you can see there's a car parked right here. And this road is pretty much the same, maybe slightly higher need for four x four, but even if you got up this far with an all-wheel drive, you should be fine. And then once you're up here, the trail, you're gonna follow the Handy's Peak Trail right to the left of the sign. I haven't been to the American Basin in, shit, five, six plus years, and yeah, it's still pretty. Give you a general plan of the day. You're gonna snake up here and then eventually get to this little notch, go left, and then Jones Mountain's right behind um, American uh, Peak here, which is this nub. All over the place with data, but I think this should be about a seven mile hike with 3,500-ish feet of elevation gain. This is a 13er. It is ranked in the top 100, which makes it a centennial. And uh, most of this hike after you leave this trail here will be on your own off trail. It is quite common to do Jones Mountain from the west side as well. So I'm just doing it from the east because I'm already here and why not? Closer look at the upper route here. So my plan of attack is gonna be to snake in here, maybe try to get to this dry spot, but if not, just go right and get up to the ridge that way. You could certainly climb these couloirs here. There's a bunch of fun ones, it looks like. I'm uh, nursing some minor injuries right now, and I just don't wanna make them worse, so I'll be taking the most boring way up today. This layer of dirt or dust here is from some storms we had in April. Some of the worst we've had in over a decade from what I understand and this dust right here will really exacerbate or speed up the snow melt and it's just a shame because they have such relatively low levels of snow down here to begin with. I mean that's melted out already. Baron over there. It's not a great situation. Got to hope for the best with wildfires this year. Looking down that first little slope, back out to the basin. I look at the upper slopes here. So I'm going to be heading right there and then the left. Jones is like through. Again, any of these, you probably could go up. Looking over to Handy's Peak in the center there. Looking at your exit point right here. Nice little, I don't know what you call this, but beautiful. So obviously if there wasn't snow here, this is gonna be really kind of loose, nastier scree dirt. So hitting this with snow is preferable. Topped out here, and there's your first look at Jones Mountain. So basically, gonna follow this ridge 
up and over looking to the west some clouds moving in so we're gonna try to move pretty quickly my plan is to follow this trail to this point and hopefully be able to drop down the other side because this looks really nasty but then you can see they have quite a big climb up to the summit of jones the weather is uh not ideal but hopefully this is just rain and snow showers and nothing worse so cut across came from right about there definitely head to the left of this big bump it's a nice mellow uh, class two climbing starts. I'm going to try to stick to the right and then go left and stay on the other side of this. It looks pretty uh, gnarly, but this is supposed to top out at class two. At the first climb here, I stayed left, popped on the helmet because there's a lot of loose stuff going on. So uh, I don't think there's really any official trail at this point. I know there's no official trail, but social trail even. So I'm just kind of skirting up and then see what's next. Looking into some of the most remote parts of Colorado. Beautiful. Looking back to that uh, ridge portion there, it all stayed class two. It looks way gnarlier than it actually is. You could pretty much stay ridge direct. Looking up to your final climb, just about two, 300 feet, and you're at the summit of Jones Mountain. Summit of Jones Mountain. Woo. Woo. What a scene up here. So damn pretty. I love doing these in every single direction is just insane. Just about two and a half miles to the summit. So it should be just about five-ish round trip. Uh, 2,000 feet of elevation right about now. So I think easily 500 on the way back. Bit windy up here. Um, some route finding on this, not terrible. Trail conditions, not terrible, not great. I would say this mountain is dog friendly so long as your dog is good on looser stuff. I mean, dude, these views are just banana land though. Holy hell. As beautiful as it is up here, I'm not gonna linger much. So I'll show you some more views and then uh, head back down. On the way down, just follow the same route you can, you came. And uh, the, the one crux will be that snow uh, or dirt scree down climb. The views are just so beautiful down here. I don't want to wrap this video up, but I am not wrapping it up yet because I want to give you uh, final stats and a look at that glissade down, and then I'll wrap it up. But I mean, unless something 
crazy happens this is an a plus hike because the views because of the varying nice little class two trail conditions aren't terrible i mean there's nobody back here and the views did i mention that did not have a very good time coming down this things are literally moving as i'm just filming uh, but back down to the saddle Remember, you don't want to cut left. You want to go back this way and then left. Otherwise, you're in a world of screech. Okay, back down in American Basin now after a fun glissade on some pretty soft snow. Uh, definitely want to get out of here. I feel like the rest of this is probably going to be a lot of post holing. Um, but Jones Mountain gets an A for me. High A, honestly. Um, this is definitely a time of year to hit it. So you have the snow for a fun glissade down. You don't have to deal with the loose crap. Having that whole side of the mountain, so it's at the northwest side of uh, where I am now, dry was such a nice surprise. Made it very quick moving. Uh, there is a bit of elevation gain that's like rolling but it's not terrible. And when you're hiking with this kind of backdrop constantly, it's just hard to go wrong. And the views from the summit are probably top five, top three best I've ever seen in my life. Like unbelievable. So that's gonna wrap up my uh, hike on Jones Peak here. It's gonna end up being just about 26, 2700 feet of climbing. And that's assuming starting from you know, like the general road split of Cinnamon Pass. Um, if you're starting lower, obviously add on mileage, add on distance, but yeah, so about six, six-ish miles for a full trail guide on Jones Mountain. You can check the link in the description below. All the gear I'm using is gonna be linked in the description below as well. As always, thank you very much for watching. I had an awesome time down here in the San Juans and can't wait to get here again. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.